everybody welcome back to the channel we are going over here to see if they know red nose or not they are not handing out free food here hey Sorry about this. Hello. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! I mean, if you guess, I mean, if you really want to do this... I'll have to show you my helicopter move! You made me do this. You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? We wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep. That's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. We're off to Charles. Let's roll.
You'll never catch me alive. Uh oh. Haha, I got around him. Kaido ran into him though. here and Kaito's with him. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <clears throat> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! <laughs> I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it. Then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck yeah! Oh, Kaido's happy. He finally gets to punch someone. Alright, Higashi. You are telling us what we want to know. Jesus, it's a mess in here. Oh, damn. Why are you here? Got multiple health bars. Get up, bitch. Get him, Kaito. Oh, counter. Ugh. You wanna go? Let's go. didn't. 
I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light, where the safe was, not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose, we weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Hamura, is that him? It's Higashi, sir. Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi? What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. Huh? <laughs> Hey, um, that really a good idea? Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I, uh, I, well, I, uh, I, uh, what was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? <laughs> Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want. I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Uh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? 
Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. <laughs> what are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? <laughs> when Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with a Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, 
Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why I took him in. Tak didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. He's a dead man walking. What do you and Matsugani-san still see in him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The Captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But, if he ever gave the order to off you... I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. Got some backstory there. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Skeletons in the closet. So, Higashi, tell me, you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Awfully tense lately. Uh, kind of kills the whole room, you know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. That escalated very quickly. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? 
Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a kill ray assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the kill ray's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyore clan wants a war. Looks like it. Kamurocho's turning into a goddamn battlefield. Any new jobs? No. Higashi was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Alright, back to the arcade. A phone call. Hello? This is Yagami. Yagami-san! You gotta help me. Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Ginda Law huh? Office. What do you mean? Just something terrible happened. You have to get down yeah. here. Oh, Genda better be okay, bruh. We go now to the bombing incident camera show, where it seems we have an update on the device found at the scene. They're still looking into that bombing. According to newly released pub police reports, the bomb was handcrafted and included a remote-controlled timer. The police are continuing to search for any evidence that may lead to the culprit. Citizens are encouraged to call the police should they see any suspicious persons or unattended bags. They're hoping to find a lead. A blocked number? Could it be from the bomber? Answering this could lead to trouble, but should I? Uh, yeah. Hello? The police are useless, wouldn't you agree, Yagami? The mad bomber strikes again. Are you the bomber? Why do you know my name? I've done my homework. You're a private eye, aren't you? That's none of your business. Don't be like that. This is fun, isn't it? Shut the hell up. Are you sure it's wise to take this attitude with me? Or would you rather try finding the next bomb without any hints? What? That certainly changed your tune. I can hear it in your voice. I can feel the tension rising. What do you get out of this? What's your motive? Kamarocho's security system is so full of holes, the shitty should have sunk by now. Don't you feel like a fool paying taxes when this is what the government has to show for it? A criminal wasting tax dollars on bombs has no business bringing that up. I like your style. Why would I- why I would love to debate this further. I'm afraid time's running short. Let's get started, shall we? You bastard. This new bomb I've set up in Kamurocho pops a real punch. There's an ox inside the inn. That's where you'll find it. An ox in an inn? Five minutes. An ox in an inn. I have to think. Why would I know where there's a cow? There's a cow over here. Uh oh. All right. Um, where do, where does some places that sell like beef 
Aku Masharu. I ain't got time for this. There's a bomb, you dumb motherfuckers. I don't have time for this. It could be another restaurant. I have like five minutes, so I have some time. We'll go check this place first. We're just gonna have to check all the food places. And then if we fail, we know which places to not check next time. What does he mean by ox? Kenrai? No, there's too many barbecue places. Isn't that where I'm at? I needed to take one more step, are you serious? I just saw it, it was right beside his foot. Oh yeah, he found it. Pull it out like last time. Stop. It stopped. You need to stop this. Wonderful. You've done wonderfully, Yakami. Listen, you son of a... Hold your tongue. If you want someone to blame, blame Karmarcha, not me. What do you mean? This couldn't happen if they invested properly in its security. The automation of our lives. Automation of our lives. The citizens who accept it. The whole country is at fault. Is that anger I detect? What's wrong? You mad that nothing exploded? Save your taunts. You'll eat those words when you fail next time. Next time? Hey. Alright, well, there's still one more, it looks like. Or more. There's one plus. I was like, what is that? I can't go there. But it's the office, and that makes a lot more sense. Genda better be, better be okay. What's going on? Huh? Wait. What the? You did it, so admit it. Huh? I told you I didn't do it. There's no point in lying. Hey. Yagami-san! You came. Yagami-kun. Yagami? <gasps> Who's here too? What in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious. As you can see, they have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? <sighs> I'm innocent, I tell you. Oh, here we go. Why is Mafu? What has he been suspected of? Hey. What does she think you did? No. I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake. Hmm? Her cake? Yes, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge. Huh? 
This is not just some old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Gota. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? Is this really happening? So why is she here? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I just happened to drop in on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this? Mm. Yeah, she's pretty worked up. I made inquiries and it sounded like he really is the one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why she is prosecuting the case for me. Is that how this is? Why is he being hey. suspected? He was the only one who even knew about it. Only because she was bragging about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need fact. When was it last seen? I went home around 8. And the cake was most certainly in the fridge. I was here for another two hours or after that. So nobody else came in. Hmm. Then presuming Hoshino is innocent. It had to have been eaten between 10pm and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Okay. Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry, so I think that rules out any external parties. I see. And who unlocked the building this morning? Genda got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu arrived. And she was the last to arrive. Mm. That's when I discovered my cake was gone! But that would mean Genda is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No. No, he's a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. <sighs> That's your justification? Although I guess he wouldn't have had much of a motive if it's true. Hey. You're up against the wall. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Please, I'm telling you, I didn't do it. The longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be. Objection! If you ask me, Mafuyu is pretty suspicious too. Huh? Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? Hey. And do you care to tell the court what you mean by that little comment? After she came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And I was to say I was gone for about 15 minutes. She could have easily scarfed down that cake in the whole time. Huh? Why would I? This is a baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? Don't think I didn't hear it when you came in this morning. <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> what? You heard that? Yes. Yes, you skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd peek in the fridge, and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself, you just dug right in, am I wrong? Huh? Yes, you are, in a matter of fact, because a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san. What is going on? Hmm? Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, she will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take this one. Please? <sighs> All right, let's see what's happening. I thought Gendo was hurt or something, damn it. Hey. Trash can is empty. Okay. Gendo Sensei huh? was in charge of the trash. <laughs> it's a punishment. Sayori makes him do it. She's really lazy about sorting his trash, so I blew up on him. And then he started pitching in on trash <sighs> duty. Yagami-san. The other trash cans are empty. He only... It seems he takes his trash duty seriously. I heard a cat. Hmm. Well, the cake must have had a wrapper. Is there any else where it could have been thrown away? I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the yeah. kitchen. Let's have a look. In a minute, let's find this cat. Where's the cat? No wrappers, but it looks like we got some milk cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. Those are her milk cartons. They were there. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Sayori scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. <sighs> but there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk. Kind of doubt it, but maybe she threw them out for a reason. <laughs> hmm? 
So the refrigerator is where that happened. The ice tray is melted, or did someone forget to freeze it? No. Nah, it couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Hmm. And why did it melt? Uh, I see what happened. I know what happened. You'll have to wait and see my answer. Are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial for this? Of course. Are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine, I've been dragged this far. Might as well see you through. Please. Court is now in session. Well, it's on the firm belief that he is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter-argument to that asser assertation. Hmm. If I had been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. -kun. You can collaborate this statement, I take it? Mm -hmm. Me? Mm -hmm. The proof that would be missing is the empty trash can. The trash can at the scene it was empty because its contents were removed this okay. morning. Yes, Gendo was the first one in the office and he probably took out the trash. Which means if she had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterwards. And since we're all confirmed that the trash is empty... Hey. Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. So this is pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it. I can present our counter-argument. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. Well, the wrapper may not be in the trash can. We can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> Objection. Predictable. I'd like to present the course with some new evidence. Hmm? New evidence. While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation. That's when this document on Sayori's desk caught my eye. That's a notice of a planned power outage. Huh? Relevance. Yep, there it is. It seems that it was a blackout last night, scheduled from 11pm to 9am this morning. I do remember Genda saying something about that. He warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. I remember that too, but I had to, or some urgent came up, so I left and forgot all about it. Hmm? And that means... Precisely. If the cake was in the left in the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it was, it's been unseasonably warm. Hmm. And if anyone ate it, they would know that it's spoiled after a single bite. Alright, so there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Hmm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. There's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. Yeah. Oh, hey, wait. I'm afraid so. The only one who could have eaten it was the only one who closed up. And it could have been you! Ah! Ah! Objection! Objection! Hmm? Does the defense have further arguments? Yep. Yes, I think it's still too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. <gasps> this better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have the evidence to prove it. The milk cartons. The milk was dumped out, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons, to be precise. Gendo must have done it himself during cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim herself. Hmm. I'm not following. Let's consider, what would drive Dragenda to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was someone left? If there was some left? You're right, that is a certainly an odd thing to do, why? There's only one particular piece of evidence that points to the logic. The Check power outage. Out. Well. What would happen to the milk left inside a fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei who had cleaning duty found out the milk had gone bad? He probably would have thrown it away. Oh. Oh. Then, it seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means, the true culprit that ate Sayori's cake is... Nobody! It went bad. Kenda threw it away. Huh? What? <laughs> I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Kenda threw away the spoiled cake? Yes, that's about the sum of it. Sayori herself said that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage must slip her mind entirely. 
Thus, when Gandalf found the cake has spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying I jumped to conclusions? <clears throat> oh, mm, wow, that's not surprising. Oh. Quite a crowd in here. What brings you by? Welcome back, Genda. Say, who left that cake and all the milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty, of all days, it's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. <sighs> oh. I believe the words were, don't you even consider the people who have to take trash out? Your words, right? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I, I, I'm so sorry. We Thank won you. our case. I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> And I sentence Sayori to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. That's my defense attorney. Oh, I got paid for this. She stays cool under pressure, but as soon as the sweets get involved, you have no idea how I've been looking forward to that cake. I appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed. Pretty tense right now. No thanks to the Matsugami family and the Kaori can let each other starts. Better go ask a Higashi about it. Whew. That was a exciting court case. Stay tuned for the next episode of Judgment, where we go ask Higashi what the hell is going on. <laughs>